Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've been talking about the Canon 90D, the expected update to the 80D. We've also been talking about, for some time now, a 7D Mark III. That's getting really long in the tooth for an upgrade to the 7D Mark II. Uh, we're expecting both. And we have a viewer writing in um, a comment um, from Dunny Monster, one of our regular viewers, actually. Um, and this really made me think, and I've thought about this before, but he reminded me of it. Um, he says, I wonder if Canon will consolidate the 7D and XXD series, so in other words, the 80D series, um, with no definite release schedule for a 7D Mark III. I wonder if Canon will simply release a 90D that incorporates faster frames per second, better AF, higher ISO, etc., etc., thus making a separate 7D replacement pointless. Now, interestingly, um, Tromglanz, a YouTube username, he commented in reply to that, 72 is a pro camera, which is the reason why it has dual card slots. Meanwhile, the 80D is still aimed at amateurs with its single card slot. Now, what if we had dual card slots on the 90D? Is there anything then that the 7D... Is Dunny right? Are we going to see an amalgamation of the two and an ending of the lineup? Canon tends to keep the lineup quite packed. In other words, a lot of models that don't have a lot of differentiation between each other. So that would tend to lean to this not happening. However, with the advent of mirrorless, and we're expecting to see, let's call it an M7, maybe an M70, maybe that will be the new 70 Mark III, and it will knock our socks off, uh, and there will be no 70, but we'll get the 90D with dual card slots. Because the 90D with dual card slots and everything that's in the in the uh, M50 and then some is going to make the 73 kind of a moot point. So it's a really interesting question. Consolidation of the 70 series and the 80D series, if you will, that what we would expect to see a 90D replacing. Um, are we going to lose a 7D series DSLR? I think we're going to see a 7D level M series, as I said, M70, M7. So Canon may see it as there's no point in, like this is how they're starting to refine and tweak the move over to mirrorless. Because eventually I think we're going to see a reduction in DSLRs offered, perhaps even the elimination of DSLRs in favor of all mirrorless. So is this the beginning of it? Is Dunny right? Are we going to see a consolidation here, which actually may down the road be, you know, no more whatever would replace the 90D? Or... Do you think Trom Glance is right? They still want to have what they have a quote unquote pro level camera at that. I guess they could remarket the 90D as a pro level camera. What do you guys think? This is an interesting, interesting thought question here, an interesting thought exercise. Will Canon give us a 7D3 or will they amalgamate the two? Especially with, because the wild card here is what they're doing with the M series. We're going to see a more advanced M series at, at a 7D3 level. I am sure of it. Let's call it an M7, an M70. Does that make them lean more towards doing what Dunny's suggesting? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss this. Do you think we'll get a 73 still, a DSLR? Or do you think the 90D will stay there and that'll get a few more features and be the top end because Canon will concentrate on a mirrorless at that level? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Really interested to hear what you guys have to say. Um, often you guys will throw in thoughts that I hadn't thought of. This will probably be a really good conversation. Thanks for your uh, feedback, Dunny Monster. Trom Glance, great to hear from you guys. Always love to read the comments. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.